What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model the Dubai Towers in Revit. They're quite cool, they look like some sort of a horn or something. They're, they're quite cool, it's like this spiral spike and it has, I, I think it has a six, six side kind of a floor plan and it, it looks like it's kind of uh, going in a spiral and in a spike so it, it looks really cool and as far as I know it's an unfinished project or it's only a concept but I thought it looked really cool so why not try to make it in Revit. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and here we are and first let's just change the units to meters because it makes it all a bit easier and uh, when I go to south elevation over here as you can see now this is set to uh, 4 meters and just to kind of make it easier and simpler I'm just going to be doing a scaled down uh, version of this building so I want to go here to a level command and use the offset tool let's just offset this at 4 uh, meters and these aren't really like uh, I guess you would call them uh, they're not really levels uh, floors they're just kind of in between floors like each of these levels is probably I don't know like five floors or something like that so and the the, the whole building will be a bit scaled down just because it's easier to do it currently so anyway so I'm just going to be use, going here to massing in sight go show mass so you can see mass once you've started it and then go here in place mass and let's just call it mass one it doesn't really matter so let's go to level one and start drawing or modeling so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a six-sided uh, polygon so just I go with the inscribed polygon make sure it says six sides and that it's on a level one and here I usually like to set this to draw on work plane so it draws on the selected work plane and for this one I'm just going to give it like the radius of three meters because that's kind of for the scale that we're using over here but anyway so we have one of these and let's just go into 3d this is what it looks like and let's just copy it now up on the other level so this is kind of the base so I'm just going to go here to copy the clipboard and then paste align to selected levels and go with level 2 and as you can see now it's here on level 2 so we can go to level 2 here we go we can kind of move it a bit out of place and as you can see the bottom one is over here then we're going to be rotating it just a little bit don't go overboard I don't know like 12 degrees and kind of just move it to the side a bit so this is the starting point and then you also need to scale this thing so just go here to scale or the shortcut is RE and then just go from center and let's just scale it just a little bit not too much at first Anyway, so once we have this, we can again go into 3D, go select it, go copy, paste, align to selected levels, and now let's go with level 3. Okay, here it is on level 3. So now we need to go to level 3, and let's move this out of the way. But as you can see, now we can't see the bottom levels. So maybe even better, go to uh, site plan, and now you can see all of them. So let's move maybe this thing now over here. Let's rotate it a bit again kind of like this 12 degrees and then select it again scale it so go from here now scale it a bit more maybe like that okay this works maybe move it yeah okay this looks nice go back into 3d select it and again go copy paste align the selected levels go with level 4 okay so once we have that let's go to level 4 or m maybe oh no well here Let's move it just a bit out of the way, then go to side plan just so we can notice where it is. Okay, so it's here, so maybe we can move it kind of like this, scale it or rotate it a bit, 12 degrees, there you go. Then you have to select out of it and then select it again and now you can scale it. I don't know why does it do that, why can't you just go straight into scale, but for some reason it asked me to do that, so that's what I have to do. So anyway, let's just scale it even more, maybe. A bit less that's perhaps too much okay this looks fine go back into 3d this is what we have so we've got like halfway done so again select it copy paste align to selected levels go with level 5 if I'm not mistaken yeah 
And now I just like to move it a bit out of the way while it's selected because when we go to site plan you want to be sure which one are, do you have selected. So let's move it even more kind of here. Rotate it again by the value of okay 13 degrees that's okay. Then again select out of it, select it and let's just scale it. So scale it like maybe like this. Okay. And as you can see, it's getting a bit confusing, but anyway, you go with the smallest one. So that's the that's the final, like the top one. So anyway, so let's go back into 3D. This is what we have. And at which level is that? That's level five. So let's copy it, paste, align to selected levels. Let's go with level six. Okay. And, and now let's, again, I just like to move it a little bit out of the way. Okay. So there it is. So when I go into site plan, okay, it's this one. So maybe let's move it here, rotate it a bit, 12 degrees, click out, select, scale, let's scale it again, make it even smaller, and continue off like that. So you find it, you select it, you go copy, you go paste, align to selected levels, level 7 is the next one. Again, while we're in 3D, let's just move it kind of a bit out of the way so we can see it better. When we go to site, okay, here it is. Maybe move it like that. Rotate it 12 degrees. Click out of it, select it, scale it, and then just go like that. Okay, go back into 3D, select it, again, go. Okay, this is getting quite repetitive, but you get the point. You have to kind of angle it in the right in the right way so we'll paste align selected levels and finally 11 level 8 11 level 8 okay so let's go like this okay maybe like that okay so go into site plan site plan okay and rotate it again 12 degrees there we go select out of it select it go into scale Select here and make it really small. Okay, there you go. So when we go into 3D, this is what we have. And uh, just check, uh, when you go with the mouse over each one of them, they should be kind of a complete uh, polygon. Uh, the whole thing should light up. It shouldn't be kind of separate into different lines. That's going to be making problems. So if it's separate or if this isn't, like when you hover over it, if it doesn't select the whole thing immediately, then you have to redo it. For some reason, uh, it does that sometimes and then you can't. Uh, you can not create a form. But anyway, if it works, just select everything, go create form, and boom, there you go, your spiral spike. And it looks really cool. And as you can see, if, if I had uh, spiraled it, or <laughs> spiraled it, rotated each element more, it would be too much. This is like, this might even be too much. I don't know. I, you don't want to have too much of a spiral. But anyway, you get the point. So it looks actually really cool, especially from like the top down view. When you go like this, let's see, can we get shadows here? No, okay, when we go, ooh, this looks quite cool actually. So let's just go finish mass and wait for a second. Okay, there it is. Okay, why don't we have shadows here? Okay, but, but anyway, let's go to Masking in Sight and let's see, can we do some curtain systems? Okay, now we can get shadows, finally. And now we can add just all of the faces so we can see the, uh, so we can see this as a curtain wall. So once you select everything, go create system, wait for a second and there you go. So this looks really cool now. But anyway, you get the point. That's how you create this cool looking spiral spike using Revit in place massing. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you want to get this project file, you can get it on my Patreon. So first link in the description, you can get all of my Revit project files that I've done so far. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of them. It's like 140 files so far, maybe even 150. But anyway, so that's if you want to get this file. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.